There we go. All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks again for taking some time out of your Friday to join Groves Incorporated Ready Rack for another video on some items that are we've just introduced to our health and wellness product line. We're pretty excited about these couple new items. Uh, we're going to play a quick video uh, to talk about these items. And then afterwards, we can do a little Q&A. Um, let me introduce myself real quick. I apologize. I'm Jesse Moy with Groves Incorporated Ready Rack. I've been with the company for about seven years. I helped do some of the uh, product management on this side of the company. Um, also with me is Tom Martin, VP of Sales. Okay. So without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. Uh, it's pretty quick, little four or five minute video, just kind of touching base on the new hard mount extractor line and our mobile, uh, mobile gear dryer. And then, like I said, after we're done, please stick around. Any questions you may have, we'll be here to try and answer them for you if we can. All right. So let me get this video started real quick. Share my screen here. And here we go. Hey everybody, it's me again, Jesse Moy with Groves Incorporated Ready Rack. And I'm super excited that you could join us today because we're introducing a few new products into our health and wellness product line. Right behind me, we have our new hard mount extractor series. And on this side is our Firehouse Mobile Gear Dryer. So these are two brand new items. We just introduced them at FDIC 2021. And now I'm here to talk to you about them a little bit more. So if you didn't make it to FDIC, here's what we have. Our hard mount extractor line series. What we're offering is a 40 pound capacity machine, a 55 pound capacity machine, and a 70 pound capacity machine. So if you need that higher capacity, you need to do more sets of gear. We have three different options for you. Now, when we're talking about how many pieces of gear you're going to be able to do, on a 40-pound machine, you're going to be able to do up to eight pieces of gear at a time. Now, if you've watched any of these videos, you know what we're talking about when we say pieces. Shells and liners get washed separately. So, on a 40-pound machine, when I say eight pieces of gear, I'm talking eight pieces of shells at a time or eight pieces of liners at a time, all right? On a 55 pound machine, and this is the 55 pound machine right here. On the 55, you're gonna do up to 10 pieces of gear at a time. And then on the 70, you can do up to 14 pieces of gear at a single time, all right? Now, one of the best things about getting one of these new hard mount extractors from Ready Rack is that they're already coming pre-programmed with the NFPA 1851 wash cycles. That's right. The 1851 wash cycles are already programmed into the machine. You do not need to hire anybody to come into your fire station and program this for you. We've already taken those steps out of your hands, all right? And that's the beauty of it. It is, it's coming with all those wash cycles that the 1851 guidelines have set forth and they're right here in the machine for you, already pre-programmed, okay? The machine is also automatic soap injector compatible. So now you can get one of our automatic soap pumps, hook it up to the back of the machine, and feed your citrus squeeze right into the washer. It's a beautiful thing. Now, when it comes to installing these, because yes, it's a hard mount, and we know what we mean by hard mount. You have to secure it to the floor. So on a hard mount machine, we're gonna have two different options for installation, okay? We're gonna offer a self installation kit or you can 
get professional installation services directly through ReadyRack. All right, so it, we are super excited about this extractor. You need the high capacity. You want the pre-programmed cycles already in there for you. This is your new best friend right here. Okay, you just got done washing your gear. Now you need a way to dry. Now, of course, ReadyRack offers dry cabinets, but new to the health and wellness product line is the Firehouse Mobile Gear Dryer. Now, right next to me is our four position mobile gear dryer. Okay, one, two, three, four. But we're also offering a six position mobile dryer as well. On this, you can do your liners, your shelves, boots, gloves, hoods. For the electrical on here, it runs on 110. So you can plug this into your standard wall outlet. I don't need an electrician to come in and wire anything for me. It's on four heavy duty five inch casters. As you can see, it's nice and high up off the ground. This thing can roll around with ease around your fire station, really easy to move. Shoot, you could put this on a trailer or in the back of your truck and take it to another firehouse or take it to another location if you need to dry gear somewhere else. It's that easy to move around, all right? Now, also built into the mobile dryer is the temperature settings, all right? This dryer is programmed to never go above 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So now you can feel safe putting your gear on this and walking away and not having to worry about it cooking. It will not go above 105. Now, it's also programmed with an ambient or a heated setting. You get both. You can run it just on ambient air or the heated air. And like I said, the heated air is never going to go above 105 for you. In fact, this machine when it's running is so quiet. But hang on, let me turn it on for you. Okay, so I know I kind of already have a loud voice, but I'm talking to you like I just was a few seconds ago, and that's the dryer running behind me. The two of us could stand right next to this and have a conversation, and we wouldn't even know that it's running behind us, all right? So another great feature about it, it's not super loud, all right? So dry times are going to vary depending on how wet your gear is, what the conditions are like in your firehouse, but anywhere from three to five hours to dry some sets of gear, all right? I, obviously the idea of the dryer is to get your gear back into service as fast as possible. And this is a great way to do it. So the hard mount series and the mobile dryer, both new products to our health and wellness product line. We are super excited about them. Just another way that ReadyRack can help get your fire station to be 1851 Comply. If you have any other questions on either of these items that I just talked about today, feel free to reach out to Groves Incorporated or visit ReadyRack.com. Thanks again. Okay, so, you know, it's Friday, the weekend is here upon us, so I didn't want to take up too much of your time. That was basically a pretty brief overview of the two new items, the hard mount extractor and the mobile dryer. Um, both of these items are brand new. Okay. So um, any orders we can accept now to ready rack, nothing's going to start shipping until December near the end of the year, just so everybody knows. Okay. But they are available to put in your order right now, if you choose. All right. So um, we can take some time now. Any questions anybody has, there is a, a chat bar or box that you can go down to, click on, and type in any questions. Uh, we take a few minutes, if anybody has any, and see if we can answer something for you. Jesse, I'd like to throw something in. Did you address the, uh, the install options? Yeah, so the installation options, Tom, is going to be the self-installation kit or the professional services professional installation that you would order through ReadyRack. We'll have a professional technician come out and install the machine for you, okay? And uh, I, I think we even, during conversations we were having earlier that uh, still a lot of this that's that's coming together. We, we got a lot of this put together for, for FDIC and in introducing the new product line and, um, the insta uh, there's one uh what's the cost for install um 
not sure if we've got distributors and users on this call. We, ex we expect a pass through on the professional installation. Uh, many times that'll mean that a distributor is going to mark it up anyway. We're looking at a, an $1,800 pass through for professional installation. Is that, is that accurate, Jesse? I have to double check on that. I, it was going to be somewhere between 14 to 1800, I believe for within the continental United States, we're going to, we're trying to set a flat rate um, to make it easy for everybody. But basically if you're in the continental United States, it's going to be right around that range. Okay. Uh, Jacob asked, uh, how long does it take to uh, dry uh, turnout gear on the mobile drying rack? So like I was saying in the video, it's going to take a few hours and there's different variables that come into play, obviously when drying gear, um, you know, how wet the gear is, you know, when it comes out of your extractor, uh, what are the conditions like in your firehouse? You know, if you say you live down in Florida and you got a lot of, you know, humidity, a lot of moisture in the air, things like that are going to take a lot longer, you know, not a lot longer, but it's going to the extent it's going to be an extended dry time for places where there's more moisture, more humidity in the air, you know, someplace like maybe Nevada or Arizona, where you have, you know, dry air everywhere, it could take less time to dry, but anywhere from three to five hours, depending on, you know, different variables, how much airflow is moving through your firehouse, what the conditions are like, but right around that range. There's also a question I think, I don't know, I'm sure if we answered it uh, fully. Uh, we, we addressed the professional installation. There's a question about the cost of the self-installation kit. Uh, and I'll, I'll throw in an advance because uh, this has recently come up, is that the 70-pound uh, unit, because of its massive size, uh, we've not provided a, a self-installation kit on the 70-pound unit. But if you can address the, uh, the 30 or the 40 and the 55, Jesse. Those kits are still, as I know, the pricing on those are the final numbers are still being hammered out. So we'll have we should have those shortly. I don't have those right off the top of my head, but um, give us a give us a few days. We should have something available for you. I did see a question, but it's not showing up in my box. Maybe it was separate to me. Oh, it was in the chat channel. There's a few questions in there. What's the cost install by you? We addressed that. How hard is the self install? with electrical, um, well, it is, these, the, these are 240 volt units. So we do suggest um, a, a professional installation or a plumber, not a plumber, an electrician being involved, unless you're familiar with the 240 volts. Um, but it's much like the uh, 6G drying cabinet um, in connecting it. It's, it's not a plug and play. This needs to be hardwired to the building. Uh, and I see a question about, is it standard water and, and drain? I believe the drain on these is a larger drain. It's not just your standard uh, unit because of the amount of water flow. Is that, Jesse, have you heard? Yeah, there's, on it? There, there's a three inch drain pipe that comes off the back of the machine. Um, it is gravity driven. So you will have to have a tank set up behind the machine that the water can pour into. Mark asks about uh, a service uh, program for this. We do have a nationwide service network, uh, the same network that would be doing the, the installation, depending on, it would vary based on our, our contract with, with our providers, um, but we do have a network of, of providers in place. Let's see, more over in the question and answer, let's see. For international market self-installation, you know, I think it's more of a conversation taking place. Definitely, the uh, we don't have a network internationally for this. Uh, perhaps some online training. Uh, we, we are uh, working on on videos that that departments and distributors can can learn from. That's still coming together. We'll have those in place. See, there was something I was going to bring up on that. Training. I saw one that said, where are they manufactured? Uh, Spain. Spain. They're made in Spain. You know, and the beauty of these, and I touched base on it real quick in the video, is this, the wash cycles already being pre-programmed 
into the machine. Um, that to me is a home run. Okay. Cause generally these larger hard mount extractors that you purchase elsewhere do not come programmed with the 1851 wash cycles. Okay. So you still have, even after you get one, you have to have somebody come in that knows how to program it to put those specific wash cycles in correctly. These are already coming programmed with the 1851 wash cycles. I think that right there by itself is huge. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that. You know, the machine's already set up to do what it's supposed to do to follow those guidelines. One thing to be aware of also is uh, as part of the, the Groves distribution network, this is a, a national contract for us as a, as a national provider uh, of, of the extractors. And you're not locked into regional um, providers. You don't have to go to a different source if you're selling in Southern California versus the Northwest versus Florida or, or New England. This, this, is, this is our network. This is, this is a, a, a big deal for the, the fire service, uh, pre-programmed coming out of the factory, shipping nationwide without involve, having to involve the, the little local guy. We've already got a network and, and that's all built into our, our side of things. So you're, you're not having to um, work with a local guy in, in Louisiana if you pick up a piece of business there. Um, questions on the warranty and other parts. Uh, I do, we're waiting on the actual warranty document and we can share that. Uh, drop us an email and we'll make sure to get you on the list. Uh, we do know that the, if you do a professional install, the warranty for all items are limited to two years. Then there's on the professional installs, there's a three to five year. And, and we're looking for specifically what's covered on the three year and what's covered on the five year. So we're waiting on that document right now. And right now our warranty, um, it's really easy for us to say, well, we pass through the warranty to the manufacturer and these are, there's no surprise. These are uh, special built for us and programmed for us um, by, by Continental. So uh, you may have seen some of these out there similar. What's unique to us is both the distribution arrangement and the pre-programming from the factory uh, already to our specifications. So another question on here, where will they ship from? They're gonna ship from, we're gonna warehouse them at uh, Groves Incorporated in Woodstock, Illinois. So we're just 50 miles Northwest of Chicago. Um, MSRP on the extractors is the 40 pound uh, is 12,400. Um, the 55 is 14,5 and the 70 pound is 18,000. Comment. Yeah, Casey, we'll chat. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you heard in the video the how quiet the mobile dryer is. You know, some of the other uh, co competition out there when those get turned on, it's they use basically a shop vac motor. So you could, it gets pretty loud with those. This one, like I was saying, I could stand next to it with somebody and have a conversation and you could barely, after a few minutes, you wouldn't even know it's running. I mean, that's how quiet it is. I will clarify something um, based on a comment that was made. Um, yeah, the install on our end is, is really assuming that, the, that the, the drain is in place, that the electrical is run, to within two feet ish of, of the unit itself, and that there's already a water supply to those locations. So we're, we're what happens if those are not done? Well, then the building needs to be prepped prior to our installation. Our install team is coming in with the unit, um, 
bolting it to the floor and uh, attaching it to the water and electrical and sewer. So it's assumed that that's what our team is doing, that everything else has already been plumbed, both electrical and water and sewer have been brought to that location. Uh, so that, that's beyond that is, is another building prep that we would uh, either the department would have to reach out to uh, to, to ask for a, uh, a quote on what it would take to, to bring those to the location uh, because our install team is installing, assuming that, that everything is already in place to connect. Uh, does that make sense? So somebody's asking about, um, are the other units still available? Of course. So, you know, we've had great success with our soft mount machines, the EW22 and EW30, and we're going to continue with those as well. Um, and uh, also with our drying cabinets. Okay. So we're just adding a few more options um, to possibly, you know, for other people that are looking for, you know, different avenues of higher capacity or somebody that prefers one of those um, mobile stickman type of dryers as, you know, instead of, say, a drying cabinet. But, but now what we offer both, okay? And one uh, of the features the, that, I'm sorry, Jesse, let me adjust. No, I was just gonna, for the question about the pricing on the mobile dryer, uh, the four position mobile dryer is gonna, MSRP is 7,500 and the six is 9,000. What I was gonna add was on the, uh, uh, the existing soft mount units. Um, no, that, that's a, a big part of our line. Uh, we expect some cannibalization of moving towards the larger units. Um, the hard mount system does give us some additional enhanced programming capability uh, where, where some would ask, well, if, if you're already programmed 1851, why do I need a hard mount? Why are you saying it's better? Well, we're saying it's better uh, because we get some nuances in the, um, the amount of turns and, and, and some other features that, that we can program into the hard mount systems, there's more flexibility where uh, on the soft mount units, we, we're, we're kind of pigeonholed into some certain settings that are already in there that need NFB 1851. But we, we have uh, some programming capabilities with the, the new units that uh, take that to another level. Last pass through, let's see, Q&A, anything new? If something changed in 1851, can it be changed? Yeah, we, uh, these units can be reprogrammed. Um, they can be programmed. Uh, under 1851, there's requirements for the machine to be programmable and, and reprogrammable. And, and yes, these units can be reprogrammed. There's, I think, 30 different options that are, that are available within the machine. But the basic settings for ours will be the, the first four settings will be, you know, outers, liners, um, uh, biological, and I think another rinse cycle uh, are our first four settings on this machine. So is that right, Jesse? Yes. Let's see, chat, anything there? That's all I saw. Anything from anyone? All right, everybody, we'll give you one last chance at a, we really do appreciate, I appreciate, Jesse already mentioned, he appreciates you guys spending some time with us on a Friday afternoon. Um, we'll, we'll definitely uh, probably have another one of these before we start shipping with the additional items, the warranty, uh, more details on the installation videos and some training on how to use the units, how to put them into, into service with the department. And if you've got any suggestions on, on things that you've already run into the field that we should address, uh, make sure we make public, um, you know, let us know, we're, we're open. Uh, let's see, there was a question regarding 1851. I've got Jordan online. I've heard some requirements that I've changed in 1851 regarding pH. Um, I've, I, 
I'm, I'm very confident that uh, Citrus Squeeze is in there. I, I, I know some products that are out there that are on the fringes of the pH up in excess of, of, of 10. Um, I, I don't believe this affects uh, the discussion points. I've not seen a TIA or anything come out. There may be discussions, um, but I've not seen any uh, interim amendments to adjust the, um, the pH. But I would recommend everyone be cognizant or be aware of the SDS sheet on the, on the detergents that they're using to clean their gear. Canada, when will distributors receive their new price list? Uh, we'll have a separate price list available. Uh, we can email it out to you now. Uh, it won't be, we've got a health and wellness catalog. Uh, Jeff, if you'll email us at sales at groves.com, we'll make sure you, you get access to, to that sheet that you can hand out, pass out, answer questions. And we'll make that, uh, I've got a list here of everybody that attended the meeting. I'll um, reach out to the group, attach it to the page on our website. I think if you look, uh, Mike's on board here. Mike, if, uh, is there what under uh, readyrack.com slash washers or health and wellness, where, where can they find information on these items uh, that were discussed today? Uh, they can find it at readyrack.com forward slash wash. Wash, so readyrack.com forward slash wash. We'll have uh, links to um, all the items mentioned here today and any other information that you think you should need to help you out. If it's not on there, reach out to us and we'll get it to you. All righty, Jesse, back to you. All right, um, yeah, if, if there's any questions we weren't able to answer, uh, please reach out to us again. I know there's some information that we're still gathering uh, like Tom said, uh, but both these items, um, they're new. Um, we're excited about them. Okay. Uh, like I said, we can start, um, shipping them out closer to the end of the year. Okay. So, uh, just to wrap it up, I want to thank everybody again for joining us. Uh, we love doing these. We try to keep it short for you. Um, go out and enjoy your weekend now. Thanks again so much.